Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. So we just came to Aquila City, and the plan is to start the Rangers quest line. So yeah, let's let's go say hello. And you're breathing back to normal yet? Mostly. Still feels a little weird though. Guess I'm not used to having the tube out. But it's nothing that would keep me from getting back out there. You need to give it more time. I guess that means you won't be telling the marshal that I'm approved for field duty. Not yet. There could still be a setback, and I need to be close at hand if that happens. Fine, fine. But you should know that I'm crawling the walls in here. Oh, you just take it easy. Shouldn't be long now. Okay. Let's go talk to who we need to talk to. Tried to rob eh, the place the mayor's already. Hello there, Emma. You got some with me? Yeah, uh, Marshall sent me. Oh, well, if the Marshall sent you to me, that means he's looking to recruit you. Just so you know what you're getting into, I'll explain who we are and what we do. Well, the Free Star Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Free Star Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. I think that's admirable. Like most things that are worth doing, it ain't always easy. But do I think we make the Free Star Collective a little safer for everyone? Yeah, I do. I imagine you've got some questions. I'll answer anything I can. Uh, I know what I need. What authority do the rangers have? Well, in theory, a Free Star Ranger can go anywhere in Free Star Collective space, uh, even private property. But of course, it doesn't always work out that way. We also have jurisdiction over any local security when we're tracking a fugitive. Uh, are there a lot of rangers? The number's always changing due to retirements, recruiting, and unfortunately, death in the line of duty. But as far as I know, there's never been more than a dozen rangers at any one time. Twelve? Did you say twelve? Okay, then. A word about myself. I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Free Star Ranger is up to the task. That being said, the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So, what's it gonna be? Are you ready to sign up with the Free Star Rangers? Damn right. I want to join. Before I hand you a badge, I need to know you can handle the job. You helped out with the hostage situation, but sometimes people just get lucky. Tell you what, use the mission terminal and take one of the listed jobs. Your choice. Come back alive, and we'll talk about you joining up. Okay. Then I suggest... <laughs> You get going. I'll get going when I'm ready to get going. All right, let's get going. Well, hey there. Hey there, Helga. How you doing? Hiya. I heard you talking to the doctor. What happened? Oh, Got into a tussle with a Shaw Gang smuggling ship in Kodo's orbit. Had a limp back to Aquila City, with my ride mostly in one piece. It was a bit of a hard landing, you might say. Got a few broken ribs and a concussion. Turns out, one of those ribs punctured a lung. Had a breathing tube in for a spell, but that's gone now. Seems I'm healing up pretty good. Use of a throw is pretty standard treatment for traumatic pneumonia. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Everyone knows a thorologic tube is the right approach for uh, that problem. What are you right here? Right now, not much of anything. Doc says I need a rest. Meanwhile, I've been trying to make myself useful. Miss, we're having a conversation. Do you mind? Reports and such. That way, when I'm cleared for field duty, I'll know the lay of the land. Yeah, yeah fair, fair. A year or two back, I shared a drink with Ron Hope. That man can drink. Hi, who are you? He's in trouble now. You've got potential. Helga says I spend too much time at my terminal. He's probably right. All right. We got a lot what of we got here? in the city. All clack. Kill the outlaw, kill the outlaw, captain, gang leader. Uh, 
Which one do I get? Rescue a hostage? Hey, let's do that one. Let's rescue a hostage. Have I been here before? I don't know. Probably not. <coughs> considering that. Who are you? Free star carry all. Excuse me, what? Excuse me? Madam? Do you mind? Why are the free star attacking me? Spacers. Decent workout for my trigger finger. Hello. <laughs> Madam, you shot me just so you know. you shot me. I'll be other around. Now I'm going to exterminate you all. Oh, this is the mission? Ah. Oh. Interesting. I hope you're here to help. I don't think it's safe yet. It's over. It's over for real. I can't believe you did all of that. Uh, you stay safe out there. I'll do my best. After you undock, I gotta get straight back to it. But thank you. No problem, friend. I think they're all dead. I think of value here. Can I like rob some stuff? Oh, is it a computer that works? I'm just gonna read the computer real quick. This is gonna be the turrets, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it was nice. Oh no. Can I fast travel from here? Hey. Okay. I thought the game just like bugged out and for some reason the free star mm -hmm. hated me. Well, God, they don't. Star space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband and you can be on your way. That's fine. That's all we need. You're cleared for landing at Aquila City. Why does it like fiddle with my thrusters? I don't like it. My <laughs> map. I'm still trying to look for somebody that has that perk that increases my engine power or my uh, reactor because I'd rather not have to invest in it because that would require like probably like five or six perks just to get that and then it's it's probably not even like worth it because like what is an extra five power I mean, eh, maybe should probably explore this town Let's look around while we're here. Howdy, gentlemen. Is there multiple bars on this, I wonder? Let me see. Ooh. Hello, citizen. Hello, citizen. How are you all doing? You don't need to wear your helmet on this planet. You know that, right? 
It's a hat. I know you guys have been on the frontier for a while, but like hats are normal. What is? Galvang. This kind of reminds me of Shady Sands from like the original Fallout. Oh, the House of the Enlightenment have a thing here. Cool. Residential. Okay. Uh, House of the Enlightenment. Where can I join those religious organizations without needing to get the perk? What do we have in the left? What is that place? Oh, chunks. Anyone in here want a job? Welcome to chunks. You look chunks like you want to. No, you just make your way. Yeah, I'll make my way. If you folks want a job, oh wait, there's people sitting up here. Job, 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 job. And there's not as many attractions as I'd like. Miss Castler built this whole thing off donations and what she could throw together. Just one quiet day. That's what you asked for. Planning on that man too. Ow. What do we have over here for sale? Oh, a house. Is that a bookstore? Hell yeah. You the digital copy of the things I buy here? No. Yo, you sell so books? Many books to read in so little time. Any books you're looking for? I am a bit of an aficionado of old earth novels. Well, truth be told, it's more of an obsession. <laughs> Reading their stories is a revelation, not only for, you know, the pure imagination, but the window you get into long gone historical eras. I'll pay handsomely for any books you find like that, except Charles Dickens. Definitely not Charles Dickens. Uh, I feel the same way about a good book. Who doesn't? What do you got for sale? Take your time. What sort of books you got? Got any skill magazines? Interesting relation of Egypt. Interesting. What? Why not? I sell books. Physical books. Space is a premium on my ship. If I could download it from my slate, I could have a whole library. There are places you can go for that, ma'am. Just not my shop. Good day. Yeah, good day to you, ma'am. We're done here. Really quickly, um, no idea what I need there. That's on that. Oh, nice, we got done. All right. All right. Well, bookstore, cool. Went in. Perfect. We got a lot of bars in the city, all class. Patron, ballistic well, weapons expert, fusion. Excuse me. What do you mean fusion? What's Hello. fusion, madam? I'm looking for work. You hiring? Um, no thanks. Akil is really the heart of the Free Star. What are you? We'll go. Just need to find his hat. And how they? Propulsion. I'm barely a part stretch. of the Free Star Collection. Hi. Give a creditor Welcome to, to the Stone Root Inn. Table. Keeping the inn running smoothly My keeps me hopping. My mother always said that enjoy your stay. Yeah, same to you. Enjoy your stay, old. madam. Hopetown's not that different. Hard work. And everyone making their own way. Is there nobody like... But it could be so much fun. They say
uh, a workshop. What is that? Is that a movie theater? What does it say? East game. Ooh, what's down there? Step right in, ma'am, and feast your eyes on the marvelous attractions of Honest Earl's Alien Extravaganza. I can read this now. <laughs> of course you can. But can you believe your senses? I think these are houses. Obviously, they're houses. Thank you for saving my husband. A man should provide for his family, not drag them down along with him. Thanks for listening. Yeah, to yeah. Me. Well, who the fuck you are? Aggies. Who's Aggie? Yo, Ethan. Second chances don't have a care. No, we're good. Sometimes it gets exciting there. Citizen, citizen. Hello. Hello. Aggie. Ethan handles all the orders. Okay. Lyle, you look like a guy. Hey, stranger. I think your ship's missing something. Me. I'm the best survivalist around, and I'm looking for work. You interested? Uh, no, I'm good. <laughs> Your loss. Okay, so we we found the guy here. Yes. Interested? Who are you? Who are you? You must be a tourist. I kill the locals no better than to interrupt a man when he's drinking alone. Oh, who? Uh. My ship and I arrived at the starport recently. Well, this isn't the best part of town for sightseeing. The crowd at the hitching post is a whole lot friendlier to strangers. But since we're already talking, I guess I ought to introduce myself. The name's Ezekiel. Some folks around town call me easy. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, why do they call you easy? That's right there, my name. Ezekiel. People called me that when I was a kid, and that stuck. Fair. A job offer. Hmm. I haven't been on a starship in years. Well, maybe it's time to change that. But let me ask you something first. What are you looking for out there? What keeps you traveling? I've always been in it for the adventure. You're one of those, huh? Seems like a common story. I've met plenty like you at the spaceport over the years. Well, for better or worse, you're clearly a person of conviction. If you're serious about your offer, I'll join you. Bye. No. Welcome aboard. Well, I'm a hard worker. You can count on that. I can start as soon as you need me to. You're gonna expect. He doesn't want money. Oh hell yeah! Welcome aboard, Ezekiel. I'll see ya. Like I didn't even ask for money. What I got? Simeon, you cost me fifteen thousand fucking credits. This guy's doing free, and he has a cowboy hat. What do you have? I had to give you that hat. All right, nice, nice. I'm looking for a shield spe or a engineer, someone who knows, someone who like knows how to use shield or not shield, uh, reactor. All right, we've done enough talking. Let's head back in here. Back to the rock. Alright, I saved somebody. Saving people's not worth the money, you know? Just let me drink. Oh, you're back. How'd it go? Mission was a success. Good. You did what I asked, so let's go meet the marshal. Follow me. I already I already met the marshal. What do you what do you mean? Headquartered in the upper floors of the rock, but 
We also have remote stations throughout the Mistock Collective Space. Helps us to identify and respond to threats more quickly. Mm -hmm. Like I said before, there are less than a dozen rangers in all, and we operate with limited resources. Okay. Frankly, most of the people respect us and are willing to cooperate. In this job, your eyes, ears, and wits are every bit as important as your badge and your sidearm. What are you? You've got oh, guts. Marshal. No doubt about that. Emma! I take it you're here because you're satisfied that our new recruit can handle the job. Seems capable enough, and we could use the help. All right, then. Step forward, recruit. Let me have a word with you. Yes, sir, Marshal. I've got just one question. Sh shoot. Do you pledge to defend the people of the Free Star Collective, even if it means risking your own life? Uh, hell yeah, I risk my life without anyone. Huh? Good. Here, take these. You're now a Free Star Ranger deputy. I'm assigning you to Ranger Wilcox for some field training. Listen good to what she tells you. Welcome aboard, deputy. Thanks, Wish Cap. Wish we could throw you a welcome party, but there's work to do. We got word from a farmer on Montero Luna. She says someone's trying to take her farm, and she's afraid she might be in danger. Time, simple enough. Well, most things do at the start. Doesn't mean they stay that way. That being said, best not to assume anything. Just try to keep an open mind. Mm -hmm. Grab any supplies you might need, and let's get going. Pay attention to what Ranger Wilcox. All right, what weapons? What do you give me? Oh, hello! What is this? All right, let me. Can I wait? Can I? Can I use my badge? Oh, it's just there. There. I'm a deputy. Alright, let's go. Montara Luna is in where? What's the goal? Howdy doody. Welcome to the Free Star Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. I am a member of the Rangers. Yeah, I'm trying to. You won't let me. Going to a farm. Okay. Look, it's me waving. Hello. That's my ship I made. I'm quite proud of that ship. Setting down. Everything is agreed. Yeah. I feel like my ship will overkill, like three star rangers, you expect them to like fly like a single seater with like maybe like some old style, like you know, like laser turrets and guns, whereas I've got like a turreted battleship esque. What? Yes, madam, we are here. What is the issue? My name is Deputy Max. Hello there. The Free Star Rangers. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They looked like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. Didn't even ask if it was for sale. Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was going to regret it. Then they left. Uh, you said they look like soldiers? That's right. Uniforms look like the ones worn by Free Star soldiers back during the war. They had a certain steel in their eyes. Like men who were used to violence. I was in fear for my life. Any reason why they might want your farm in particular? Nothing I can think of, no. Truth is, we're in some hard times here. 
The last harvest was the worst we've had in a long time. Besides, it ain't like there's a lack of available land around here. Uh, how many were there? There were four, but when they were walking away, I heard them talking like there were others. Maybe there's more out there. If they're planning to come back, they must be nearby. Back behind the house, there's some canyons. They went that way. That place is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures, too. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. There must be more of them coming. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find Oh, them. shit, who are the first? All right, deputy. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Since these guys don't know we're after them, they're probably not making an effort to hide their tracks. I just wrote the first. Now, well, that sounds familiar. Let's go check out those canyons. The first Star Ranger outpost? That free Star Ranger outpost? Yeah, that is a ranger outpost. Let me go say hello. No, this is your ranger. No, never mind. This is just. I think that's just the symbol of the Free Strike Collective. All right, let's go see what these ruffians want to do. First, why does that sound familiar? Nice change of pace from Aquila City. Boot tracks. Several pairs of boot, boot tracks. tracks. Several pairs by the look. Not too old either. Let's head down into the canyon and see if we can find more. I grew up on a farm. Back when I was a kid, I used to love these canyons would have kept me busy for months. I don't know. Come on. We'll fight you. I'll fight all of you. More boot tracks. Good eye, deputy. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. We oh, get the one that was higher up. Yeah. All right. I really like this gun. Stop teleporting. Oh, we're good. Take some cobalt on here. Gunfire? Like cobalt here. Don't go back and get a little cobalt. Yeah, 
be. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna figure out. I'm trying to figure out the first. The name sounds really familiar. More boot tracks. Tracks turn left. They definitely passed this way. Let's just hope they're not perched up. Oh my god! Fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Hmm. Nice to get out under the sky. Well, Oh my god. You guys hostile? Oh yeah, you're hostile. Oh my god. They look like a uh, thing out of our. Keep your eyes. See you. Bye. You just walk past all these. You're a natural tracker. That's not hard. Gonna be mines there, yup. Why are they mining their way? You smell that? I bet my badge that's wood smoke from a campfire. They're close. Be ready. Howdy. Howdy, boys. The standoff at the bank ought to keep the marshal tied up for a while. Wait. You mean that whole thing was a setup to keep the rangers distracted? That don't concern you. If the rangers get in our way, then they get what they deserve. That's all you need to know. Now quit complaining and get back to your post. We're gonna have some fun. Well now, look who's here. Ms. Wagner called in the cavalry. <laughs> Except it ain't much of a cavalry. I suggest you turn around and walk away while you still can. Um, no. I will not. Give me answers. You think you're in a position to make demands. Well, I've got news for you. All you're getting from me is a shallow grave. So, got any last words I should try to remember? This doesn't need to get violent. Oh, I think it does. We've been found out! Don't let them leave here alive! Yeah. Teacher, you picked the bad dead. What do you mean, her? Excuse me, I'm a man. <laughs> Dare you misgender me? This is 2350, I, I think. I knew you ruffians were no good. Is moon time? On your knees. Ow. <laughs> Bitch. No idea who you're messing with. Alright, let's read the jobs done while my game also saves. Um, I believe my game crashed. I'll be back. Walk the whole way through that area again, sir. We just killed them, so we're gonna read the notes. Um, yeah, we'll equip it. Let's see what that's like. Uh, what was it? First soldier helmet. Oh, that's kind of cool. Job's done. My contact on the inside came through, and I've got your ship. Grabbed it right out of the factory. How embarrassing for Hope Tech. 
I'll drop it off at the agreed upon location once the credits are in my account. If you need another shift check, let me know. Hello, Emma. Find anything interesting? Yeah, um, look at this. Let's see what we have here. Hmm, interesting. So, their ship was stolen from the Hope Tech factory. Whoever pulled that off must have been one hell of a shipjacker. Well, I guess someone really wants that farm bad. Speaking of which, let's get back there and let Miss Wagner know that she's safe. For now. Can I have the ship? Let me actually look around in here real quick. So the first... He said basically that he felt... He was betrayed. Ooh. What's a bridger? Oh, that's the grenade launcher shotgun. So yeah, he felt he he basically said he felt betrayed by the by someone. So I'm assuming he didn't like that the. The treaty that ended the like the fighting. So yeah, we shall we shall see. The game of the ship. Uh, what is this? Hope to yeah. Interesting design. Be locked. An acceptable watchdog. That's not a ship model I know of. Right, let's fast travel back to our farm. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Also, I'll modify this gun and see if it's got any good stuff on it. We're back, madam. Oh, you have a little garden. You got some. Look like agave. That looks like weed. Looks like variegated holly. And that looks like um, fern. Oh, yeah, cool. Excuse me, madam. Where did you go? Jesus Christ, your big house. Basic workstation. To modify our ship in a minute. Hello. What's the news? Uh, the news is, can you wake up, please? Sorry, ma'am. Door was open. Hello. What happened? Did you find those men? They're dead. They were in the canyon, like you said. Unfortunately, it came to violence. Well, it's good to see you're all right, then. Thanks, ma'am. They must have been crazy or desperate, trying to take on the Free Star Rangers. So who were they? And why do they want my farm? Uh, we don't know. They wouldn't talk. Know anything about a stolen Hope Tech starship? Hope Tech? The cargo ship company? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Uh, we have labels to it, so... They say the Rangers always get their man, so to speak. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I can't thank you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. Just doing our job. Of course. All the same, I'm grateful. If you have any more trouble, give us a call. We're in system, so it won't take long to get someone out here. All right, deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the marshal. I love talking to walls. Oh, 11k credit. Nice. We're now deputized. I wonder. Ship's target wreck tool briefly post red when you inflict damage to an enemy hull. Well, isn't that interesting? Oh, where are we? We should stock up at the general store. I could use a couple things. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Who, who are you? Oh, Emma. Hello. Alright. Alright, we'll be back. I'm just gonna really quickly go and sell some stuff, and then we will come back at the rock. Alright, we're back. I, um... My mic. I modified the gun. I also noticed you can get annihilation rounds that do poison damage to the leeches, and it's like banned by almost all government. A year or two back, I shared a drink. Seems pretty cool, but yeah. Let's go talk to the marshal. The fuck is the marshal? Do I open the floor? Ah, we open the floor, okay. Yo, marshal! What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. Thanks, boss. She's safe, that's the important thing. For the time being, yes, but she could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? Um, they were tough and well ironed, probably mercs. If that's true, then someone must have hired them. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Uh, they hired someone to steal a ship from Hope Tech. Hope Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. Don't I know. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. They also said something about being forgotten. They seemed bitter about it. Resentful. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? Any of that sound familiar? The first cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it anyway. Uh what happened at the Battle of Nera? The first cavalry lost almost all their mechs and soldiers in a big push to take the United Colonies base. They were just about there when a ceasefire order came down. Both sides had just lost too much by then. It was a bloodbath. The commanding officer of the first disobeyed the order. He didn't want the lives of his soldiers to be sacrificed for nothing. And he court-martialed him and the rest of the surviving officers and locked them all up. Could these men be veterans from the 1st Cavalry? I suppose it ain't impossible, but it's real damn unlikely. The unit was pretty much wiped out, and the few that survived ended up in prison after a court-martial for disobeying orders. I don't recall how long the sentence was. Finding the thief that those men hired is our best lead. Hell, it's our only lead. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Won't be a problem. Good. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, deputy. Work with the other rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the first cavalry. Good hunting. Yes, sir. Good hunting. All right.
down. Get tactical. And you didn't even scratch the paint. We're gonna help out a ranger in this. Yo, yo, you good? Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. Uh, I'm Ranger FD Max. Just signed up. Well, it is a nice ship. No, I'm not here to steal it. Yeah, well, if you want to keep that badge, then don't get any ideas. This old girl and I have been through a lot together. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. We'll see if I can get her flying again. We need to get you a doctor. I'll be fine once the pain medication kicks in. The priority right now is the ship. Can't do my job without it. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks. I owe you one. Uh, how bad is she? Handling is repaired. Should I get upstairs? Thrusters mm. back online. Ow. And landing gear. Control circuits. We're good to go. Thanks. That should get me home. These yellow ships need to be dealt with. You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. Oh, they won't make Can't it back. Can't let that happen. Just tell them where they're headed and I'll handle it. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting. Yeah, we'll get it done, don't worry. Wait, how many crew do I have in my ship? Okay, yeah, we got five. Bum bum bum, cockpit. One dock. All right, let me get some power to the turrets. Nice looking ship. Clamps released. No, I wanna that. Yep, yeah, no, no. There we go. Twenty four light seconds. Oh, we're bringing a rock with us. Not my day, you're saying. Do you like my turrets? Turret of ballistic weapons. Welcome to Free Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. Station. Yeah, yep. Come on. All right, we're done. Welcome to Hope Town. Yeah, been here before many times.
I bet there are loads of useful materials around here. Potentially. Mm-hmm. Doesn't have value to sell. Right, let's go talk to her, shall we? Is she in here? I don't want to hear any complaints. No complaints for me, my good man. We're just here on official ranger business. Yo. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust. Nope. They put up a good fight, but I got them in the end. I'm sure they didn't want to die any more than you did. It's a pointless and stupid waste of life, but he brought it on themselves. Damn right they did. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. No, we're good. Let's go meet Ron Hope. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Keep an eye on your valuables. If you can't I'm guessing protect the your Marshal own, already told you, you this, but I'll here. say it anyway. Ron Hope isn't just the founder and president of Hope Tech. He's on the Council of Governors. The Council oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile them up. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. I can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. I like your ship, so we're good. Enjoy your visit to Hope Tech. Oh. I thought that All was my up. shield person. Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. Ooh. Except for the factory. Worthwhile trade off. As for parts, we could try outsourcing. Do a contract with scavengers, maybe, but that's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Hmm. Well, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And I don't mean a fair deal, I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line. We are also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. Hey, it's the uh, dude from Oblivion. Uh, Mr. Hope? Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, Dan, good to see you. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. I'm not supposed to Splendid. sit down, Simi. Get it's up. It's a noble calling, being a free star ranger. Very my friend. We certainly could use more of you. Uh, uh, uh. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Yeah. Oh, justice must be done, and the sooner the better. I found your stolen ship on Montara Luna. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you. Of my position on the Council of Governors? Um, I'm aware of your position. Then, I trust 
Did you know what I expect of you? Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Um, the ship was delivered to a group of men who were trying to acquire a farm. Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me. What does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Um, why didn't anyone report the theft? Because I told them not to. If word got out. It would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. The thief at Inside Help know anything about that? What? Nonsense. We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Uh, nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <clears throat> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. Uh, did anyone see the thief? We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. Oh, uh, is there anything unique about the stolen ship? No. Nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled system. Don't I know? Now you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Uh, doubt, but okay. We're done here. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. Mm -hmm. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that you can count on my discretion mr hope i'm glad we understand i love his voice actor i'm sorry to interrupt mr hope but there's been a development what's wrong not now cosette i'm in the middle of something but sir we have new information i've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at neon just after the theft a breakthrough at last well Deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's wrong here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we leaving first? Okay, we're leaving first, right? That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Mm, it's enough to go on. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger stationed there. Name's Jalen Price. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. Uh, got it. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. No problem. Thanks for setting up the meeting. Keep your eyes and ears open. I'm not sure we got the whole story here. Yeah, the question of who helped the starship thief is still an open one. Don't you worry. 
I'll keep an ear to the ground. You be careful and kneel. Will do, ma'am. Will do. All right. 